This video is for learning game A2, the impact of modern technologies, and this is focusing on the communication with stakeholders. So the specification says that we need to know how organisations use modern technologies to communicate with stakeholders, and that includes the communication platforms and the selection of appropriate communication channels. So a communication platform is the type of communication that we can use. So the ones that we need to know for this particular course are website, social media, email and voice communication. And these can all be used to communicate with different stakeholders. So the first platform we are looking at is a website and a website provides a range of content. It can include information about products and services and different prices. It can also inform people of the stock levels and any special offers that are available. Websites are often used to provide an option to buy an actual product. Social media is a very difficult one to kind of go into because there's so many different areas to social media. But as a standalone platform, just as a whole category, most businesses can communicate in a much more relaxed and informal way on social media. It provides a platform with quick and easy correspondence between the business and any stakeholders. Social media is often used for feedback on products and for customer service. Email is another communication platform and it's used as a much more formal communication platform. It's instant, allows attachments and multiple recipients. Email is largely taken over from printed mail systems. Finally, we've got voice communication. Online meetings have become especially popular, particularly since COVID-19. It allows communication without travel and can save organisations a fortune in travel expenses. Voice communication or VOIP allows voice and video and a choice of which one you want to use. It also allows a chat feature as well as the ability to share screens. So how do we decide how to choose which communication channel to use? Now there's two main methods for the selection of communication channels. And they're usually to do with how you are going to share information. So are we going to keep it private or are we going to make it public? So if you want to send a private or direct communication, then there is a certain sort of platform that you should go with. Usually the more private and personal and professional messages that you want to send would go through something like email, where it is a private form of communication. So private or direct messages are the ones that are between people with only that expectation that only those people will see those messages. So it's usually used for something like inquiries with payment details, any financial information or any other private information. Public communications are those that you want anybody to be able to see. These are usually used by an organization to share things like product information, their opening hours, any special offers, any prices, and any advice on products and their users.